This is a simple and effective bow shoulder strengthening exercise that any archer can do anywhere at any time. All you need is something approximately shoulder height that you can grab a hold of and apply some force and pressure into. Now, before we get into the exercise, we need to get set up for it. So what you want to do is first set up approximately a bow arm length away from whatever you're going to grab a hold of. I'm using this squat rack in my barn because it's sturdy and solid. Then I want to set my feet and my torso in the approximate position that I would shoot in at the same angle. So if my target would normally be here, that is what I want to set up as. I don't want to set up turned away from where my target would be. Pretend that you're facing your target. Now we need to set up hand, elbow, and shoulder. If you shoot approximately at that 45 degree angle hand uh, grip on your riser, that's where you want to be on whatever you grab. If it's not perfect, it's okay. It will not defeat the purpose or the benefits of the exercise, but try to get it close if you can. Then I'm gonna set my elbow. If you shoot with a slight bend, set up like so. If you shoot with a little bit more of a straighter arm or extended arm, set up like that. We want this to be fairly congruent and mimic the same position we shoot in. And then we wanna set that shoulder press down into our back pocket or down to smash our toes. Once we're solid here, you can for fun if you'd like get into a, a position that's similar to full draw, but you don't have to. Now, this is where the exercise portion comes in. This is going to be an isometric, meaning you're going to apply force and you're going to push in these different positions to get the bow arm to strengthen, to stabilize, and to brace, which is allow what allows us to hold strong, stable, and solid in our shot. There are three main patterns of isometrics you can perform here. And you can mix and match these, you can use your creativity. There doesn't have to be a concrete uh, set scheme or rep scheme. You can use these for different combinations. So the first pattern that we're looking at is an up, down, left, and right pattern. What you're going to do is in your position, you're going to press up nice and hard on that immovable object for a few seconds, then press down for a few seconds on that immovable object, press left for a few seconds, then press right. So I'm on that object and I'm pushing each direction, but I'm not moving. I'm applying that force to get everything in that shoulder to brace and to hold solid. But remember, as you do that, don't allow your grip, your elbow, or your shoulder position to suffer. So up, down, left, and right is your first pattern. The other pattern that you can perform is going to be a pattern that's almost like in a circle where I'm going to kind of push in angular positions. So as I'm holding that, I'm pushing in each position, although I'm not moving, I'm pushing up and almost like my pressure is going around a clock. So I'm in this position pushing in a circular motion, almost like I'm going around a clock and that's getting that shoulder joint to stabilize in 360 degree degrees of angle. The third and final pattern that you can perform is going to be just an erratic pattern where you don't necessarily try to go up, down, left, right, or in a circle and changing directions. You are going to mix it up and match it in a quick, aggressive way. So I'm in my position I set, and I'm going to push in all different directions that I can. And you can kind of see how this gets a little bit chaotic for the shoulder as it's stabilizing, as I'm pushing in all these different mixed and matched directions, which is going to lead for the best lead to the best stability gains that you can get as you're executing this isometric. So remember the overall principle here is even though I'm not moving, I'm applying pressure in different directions. And every time I do that, that requires the musculature deep in the shoulder to the outside of the shoulder, down into the upper back, and even out into the, the upper arm to strengthen and engage. Now, one thing that you do need to be aware of is of course, we don't want to be death gripping our bow when we're shooting. However, as long as you understand that concept when you go to shoot, it is okay to perform an exercise where you're grabbing. It's no different than if you grab a weight, grab a band, or are doing some sort of exercise where you normally grip. Same thing here. So I don't want there to be confusion that we're talking about gripping the bow hard or anything like that when you shoot. 
We're doing that just for the purpose of this exercise so that we can get the strengthening and the stabilization into the shoulder and into the upper back. Give this exercise a shot for a stronger, more stable and solid bow arm and bow shoulder. If you found this video valuable, please hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoy this type of training, if you find it beneficial and valuable, go to archerystrong.com. We have a bunch of different training options, everything from simple, beginner, low level training up towards more challenging, individualized one-on-one -on -one training as well. Thank you.